Hey YouTube, it's your boy Carl Carlton II. Bring you another video today. Um, this video is gonna be about my lock journey, which is going on about five months. So yeah, I've been locked up for five months, pretty much. Uh, yeah, so decided to make this video. Shout out to my lactician uh, Cache for my retwist. So I just got a retwist done uh, about four days ago. But the thing about this one that's special is that after my retwist, I decided to go ahead and instant lock my dreads using this crochet needle. This is a 0.5 millimeter crochet needle. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. This is used to make your dreads, uh, pull your inner hairs, all your hairs in, frizziness, and pretty much lock it up instantly. Um, shout out to Gunther the Great. Uh, watch one of his videos from YouTube to learn how to do this. So yeah, my uh, hair was pretty much going through the ugly phases of uh, dreading, um, the budding and all that stuff like that. So what I decided to do after my retwist, so everything is already parted and sectioned out and everything, I decided to instant lock my dreads using a crochet hook. So they're interlocked from the root and I'm gonna instant lock it, which I did with this needle, which is very easy. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate one. So basically what you wanna do, if you wanna learn how to interlock your dreads, which is what you wanna do. Learn this from Gone to the Great. So you wanna go at least an inch and a half away from your root. You don't want to start at the root because you'll have your dreads pretty much sticking up in the air because there's nowhere from them to lay down. So you want to go at least an inch and a half away from the root. Then you want to grab it. Whichever way you turn your hair, if you if you do this, you just want to, you can do that or you can turn it which way it was turned during your retwist. Mine was turned, I believe, counterclockwise. So what you do, take the needle. You want to have the needle facing your thumb. You never want to pull from the root. You want to go the opposite way. So you take it, you push it in, and you pull it out. And you turn at the same time, especially if you get caught in there. So you want to keep doing that as fast as possible. And you're pulling your hair, you're going to make it tight. You can also do this to pull in a uh, frizz, put all those loose hairs and make your hair thicker pretty much. But yeah, it's pretty simple to do. I don't know if you can see that, but I did that. Ends, if you want your ends butted, that's uh, kind of easy too. So I have my ends are pretty much blunted off. And how I did that was you want to go with the needle, you want to go down at an angle, you can pull the hair up into the dread and then keep doing that and then pretty much pull it together and then you make a circle or you can just, you know, keep playing with it like that. But yeah, this is perfect for blunting your tips, for repairing your dreads and just pulling in all that loose frizz, especially after the retwist when to get them boys looking nice and crispy, you know what I mean? So yeah, definitely, this is a perfect tool to have on the side. If you can master this, which, hey, if I can do it, you can do it, definitely. But yeah, definitely go check out one of these from any beauty supply store. But if you want to um, support our local, well, not local, but our community, YouTube community of people, especially if you're making uh, dread channels, um, lock channels and stuff, go to the great, he, um, he lives by this. And I understand why this is very important if you are starting your dreadlock journey. But yeah, um, right now I'm very satisfied with the results. It took me about a day pretty much to do this uh, by myself, especially getting like the back. I don't know, I'm gonna do a turnaround. Um, got some nice hang time and everything like that. Uh, this got me a microphone from Amazon. I'm gonna stay tuned for this video. In my next video, I'm gonna do a review on this microphone. 
So let me know how I sound in this video in the description at the bottom. And uh, I'll continue to use this. Uh, but I do notice this, it sounds much better making my videos with this microphone. It has a nice court um, to length to it. So I pretty much stand, stand back and still sound really good on camera. So yeah, that's a nice product. A um, couple of things I want to let you know about your hair is make sure you keep your hair in your basically your scalp you need to keep that moisturized and condition really good and i've said before and i say it again um, peppermint and rosemary are some of your best oils that you can use on your scalp they're both light so i went to the beauty supply store today and bought this peppermint oil made by willows uh, this has actual peppermint stuff at the bottom of it so you got to be careful when you're using these you don't want to put the stuff in the applicator and end up putting it in your hair especially the rosemary one it smells very good but the rosemary has like actual bark stuff in it you gotta watch out for that you don't want to put that in your dreads uh, it's hard hard enough to wash out as it is but yeah um yeah this is my five months locked in uh can't complain you know, I'm loving it. Can't wait to see how much more my hair grows. I know peppermint oil and rosemary, it will help you, help your scalp stimulate it and help your hair grow faster. Um, line myself up, I need to go to the barber shop, but I ended up cutting my beard I was growing, trying to line it up and messed that up. So I had to go back old school with the chin strap, but it's looking crispy, I can't complain. But yeah, um, like videos like this, I'll be doing another uh, hair review pretty soon. I need to do a review of how to make these super oils. So I'm um, in my next video, I'm gonna have to do a review of how to um, make your own concoction of oils together. Um, this twist, I've been using lighter oils. I stayed away from the castor oil, uh, the darker oils. So I've been using like more light oils in my hair. See how that turned out. Um, rose water, still got some rose water, still do that every day. So if you remember how I made the other video, how to moisturize your hair, um, you can use that one for a reference in my, um, on my page. But yeah, um, it's your boy Carl Carlton the second. And a lot of people ask me, where I get my name from? So my name is actually from my dad. My dad is Carl Carlton. He's seen She's a Bad Mama Jamma. Um, yeah, so I'm the second. I'm literally named after him, so I decided to make my name after him um, to show love and respect. Uh, but yeah, if, if you um, know who Carl Carlton is, I want you to like and subscribe to my video and leave comments. I just need y'all to pray for my dad. Um, he had a stroke about a couple years ago. So he's not singing right now, but you can just, you can check out all his music on YouTube and just pray for me, him and the family and everybody. And just, um, yeah, just keep us in your um, prayers. But yeah, just like and subscribe to my videos and I will bring, bring you more videos from product reviews from Amazon, hair reviews, and sometimes I do gaming. So yeah, um, just stay tuned for more videos like this and thank you and have a blessed day.